Hey there, thank you so much for clicking into this video, but before I get into what I'll be focusing on in 2024, I wanted to give a quick PSA. So I know I've mentioned in recent videos that I'll be making more technical videos, especially ones related to AWS. Now, unfortunately, I'll have to go back on that. This is because making AWS videos on this channel will exist as a conflict of interest with my current employer, Amazon. So I sincerely apologize for any misunderstanding there. However, I will still be able to make technical videos just like I promised. And they will be related to everything from Python, Windows, Linux, Forensics, Splunk, malware analysis, threat detection, CICD, Kubernetes, and other general cybersecurity related topics. I will also still be able to make the cybersecurity advice videos that I make every now and then. I will just not be able to make AWS or cloud related videos for the time being. I really appreciate your understanding and I hope you respect this decision. Now with that said, let's get into today's video. All right, there we go. It's like we're recording. Man, this will probably be my first video of 2024. Or, yeah, I would like to make my first video of 2024, so hopefully it goes out for 2024. But yeah, welcome to a new year, 2024. That's crazy. I think I've been doing YouTube since 2021 now, so I think I've done a video for 2021, done a video for 2022, done a video for 2023, and another video for 2024. Well, I started doing YouTube in 2021, but it was late in 2021, so that doesn't kind of count. But yeah, another year. And really crazy to be in 2024 because it seems like 2023 was just last year, which it was, but that was super fast. That was like crazy fast. But here we are. Where do I start from? 2024, there's going to be all these roadmap videos, how to do this, how to become this, how to do that. This video is not about that. I, I've made enough videos about that. But before I go into it, nothing has changed between 2020 and 2024 when I started in cybersecurity and where I'm at right now. And the only thing that has changed is there's more demand and it's more competitive. Now, the thing is, what might have worked in 2020 might not work now. As a matter of fact, those things didn't really work in 2020. Some of those things are not going to be valuable, as valuable in 2024. Employees are running on some pretty tight budgets and, and experience and actual hands-on skills are a lot more prioritized in this day and age than they were in the past. So you're definitely going to have to show more than that. Award is enough otherwise, but you should really spend a lot of time actually trying to show your skill. I feel like over the last three years, there's been a large amount of providers or companies that are emphasizing practical training, right? You have TriHack, you have like the box, you have Security Blue Team, you have Let's Defend, you have Pond Labs, you have several platforms that are doing a lot to give you practical training. And I think that should be your strategy in 2024. And again, like, you know, if you're going to try, we're going to take a certification out for a more practical one. You should be really just trying to get your hands dirty and get experience, not just acquire a bunch of certifications or under your belt, do projects, like get your hands dirty. That's what's going to help you in 2024. And actually like take the time to learn, right? This is not the point of this video, but I just feel like I'm tired of the whole advice videos sort of things. That's why I'm shifting, shifting my content to more technical content. So I guess the advice I have is just get your, get your hands dirty, like just get work done, focus, do projects, do practical certifications. And like, also don't listen to people who are not working in the field you want to work, work in who don't have the qualifications to work in the field you want to work in, who there's so many people out there that are just like influencers trying to sell you something, trying to sell you this or that, or trying to like undermine what it takes against this industry. Like it's not rice and beans, like it takes a lot of work and it's not a trivial industry. So like if someone's just trying to like sell you snake oil, try to discern better in 2024. And yeah, a lot of times the people that actually give you quality advice are not the well-known creators like myself. It's the ones that have millions or hundreds of thousands of followers. But yeah, there's it's generic. If someone is telling you just just get your A plus, number plus, A security plus, and you get into cybersecurity, you should immediately know like they don't know what they're talking about. It doesn't work like that anymore. There's a lot more that goes into that. So yeah, I feel like my whole channel is just dedicated to like quality advice. There's just, there's just so many videos that are there. People don't tend to watch the ones that are actually valuable just care to watch the ones that are like you know very pointed and fit what they want to hear but i've shared my story many times and yeah all i can say is just put your head down get work done get your hands dirty more than anything but yeah what am i focusing on this year this year i am going to be digging more into python instant response linux forensics more cloud and cloud native and devsecops now that sounds like a lot but well my main focus this year is python i've been getting better at python uh, for the last couple of months 
one of the main reasons why I realized that I not realized I've always known I had to be good at Python for the longest time and it's been something I've been kind of on enough with I just I'm not able to use it consistently to the point where like I get proficient at it but over the last couple of months I've been a lot more consistent with learning it and getting better at it so I'm getting more comfortable I'd say so I do want to get to a better level of proficiency so I've been really working on that definitely want to you know improve that more this year to a better you know better level of capacity so that's gonna be my main focus like, I'm gonna be working a lot of Python I'm gonna also be doing some Python related videos on the channel as well mainly around how to use python for cybersecurity, but more so on the defensive side of things it's a response that's kind of straightforward so anything around is a response whether it's cloud is a response or you know about maybe not windows more linux <laughs> yeah i'm more a lot more interested in linux these days so i'm gonna be spending more time doing linux as a response like learning it basically like digging more into it because I, I i find it fascinating yeah i already said cloud and cloud native devsecops as well i guess devops and devsecops because that covers so much i can't really go too deep into it but for example like that video i made about poison pipeline exclusion i want to learn more about like those kind of attacks and stuff like that so here and there but my main focus is python and instant response so i'll be digging more into that like everything in comparison that as it fits into my desired learning goals for the channel i'm going to be focused a lot more on technical videos i do realize that the technical videos don't do as well as the advice or you know more generic videos but i just honestly think that that's just where my that's where i'm leaning more towards i think those are the actual videos that provide value and honestly that's kind of i think now more than ever that's the kind of audience that i want i don't want a, an audience that is just like clamoring for advice right like just like always advice always advice like how many times do i can i tell you like how to do things how many roadmaps can i show you i want to actually show you like how to do things i want to teach you how to do things so you can definitely see a lot more technical videos around various things just showing what i'm learning and also my methodology and stuff like that so yeah that would be the main focus but there would occasionally be some career advice or some yeah some career advice or some maybe some vlogs but those will also those will be like those will be very straightforward and less bs you know so more technical stuff but with a sprinkle of career advice and other things like that i'll also be doing some collaborations on technical videos so i'm going to be collaborating with a bunch of people who are I, I might consider subject matter experts in different domains and just have them come share their technical knowledge about different things bringing more awareness to actual technical things that you could learn or even get better at in your job role in cybersecurity. Just really just bring a more technical cybersecurity content. So that as well. Also for myself personally, career wise, I think I'm going to be doing fewer talks, presentations or interviews just because I did a lot of that last year and the year before. I really just want to focus on my career this year and my own personal career growth this year. So nope courses no talks no presentations maybe no interviews probably like you know going to somebody's podcast or anything if i'm going to do anything it's going to be like very exclusive and very focused like i'm going to be very specific about things that i engage engage in this this year it's going to be a lot more selfish with my time and my attention if it's not something of value or substance i'm not really going to invest my time or effort into it i'm going to be really well okay I'll say that it's just, I'll, I'll gonna be, I'm going to be a lot more self-centered for the sake of my career and myself this year so I can really just spend time for myself and on myself and on my career. So that's going to be me this year. So if I, if you invite me to your podcast or invite me to, you know, something and I don't go, I'm sorry, I'm just, I think that's just where I'm mentally at this year. Like I, yeah, it's going to be really like, I just want to put my head down and work. I... Yeah, that's really what I want to do this year. Like, I'm going to be very stingy with my attention and my time. And yeah, even if like people want to like, I always tell people like, if you want to ask me any questions, join the Discord. Join Cyber Wars Academy Discord. Link in the description. That's the best way to get my attention. Like, I will answer you in Discord. I'm not going to answer your DMs or your emails or, I don't know. Just join the Discord. Like, it's not that hard. Like, that's the, the, literally the best thing you could do if you want to like get advice, like quality advice. It's free. Like just join discord so there's that i think that's it uh certifications wise i might just take maybe some aws certifications some of you might not know yet but i work at amazon now and i definitely want to get more into cloud security stuff so i might take some AWS certifications i don't know yet but not much maybe some AWS certifications maybe some sans certifications i'm actually i i in sans certifications now so i might consider i don't know yet but yeah i'm gonna just be probably focusing on like a lot more like free training options because those are very valuable so maybe try hack me stuff and all of that but yeah maybe AWS or sans yeah we'll see other aspects of life this year i definitely want to be a lot more financially responsible i think i've been a lot more responsible you know over the years but i think in 
be a lot more disciplined financially this year. So I definitely have some objectives for personal savings, investments, um, retirement, all of that. Definitely want to increase my net worth, um, invest more, save more, and just also figure out ways to increase my earning potential. And then definitely want to work out more this year or consistently this year. 2023, I worked out a lot. I worked out very consistently, but I think towards the end, because of my move, traveling, a bunch of things, I kind of lost my rhythm there. So I definitely want to get back on track this year. So that'll be top priority for me because I feel like I'm most functional when I'm physically optimal. I'll say that. And I also definitely want to dig deeper to my faith this year as well because the two things that I know keep me grounded are my faith and like my physical health like once those those two things if those two things are like on point everything is kind of, kind of falls in line and I just kind of I'm in a very very good flow for everything so definitely always make sure like you know I'm grounded deeper in my faith and also with physical health I am consistent with that because those two things just like continuously keep me in a good ground and flow state then also spend time with you know my friends the people that I love and care about and family too those things also keep me keep me grounded as well those three main things faith working out family and friends yeah but yeah right now it's December 28th and I'm definitely looking forward to this new year it's gonna be amazing this is the first year I'm not really setting like actual goals you guys probably know this if you've been following me for a while but I plan out my ears like each year with with notion I outline my quarterly goals and you know doing each week to achieve them but I'm not doing that this year I'm just I think I'm gonna be so buried in and getting work done and just trying to do things that when I raise my head up at the end of the year I can look back and be like oh I did all of those things because I was consistent and I had this as a place to keep me grounded and keep me consistent so yeah 2024 is going to be a great year and I'm um, super excited for it and I'm um, definitely looking forward to what you guys do in 2024 you guys have been amazing over the years so I've seen some of you guys really grow and build your careers start your careers and it's been amazing to see definitely want to see more of that this year so yeah thank you guys for your support I'm wishing you a very amazing year and yeah thanks for watching if you like this video make sure to like the video subscribe leave a comment below and uh join in discord connect with me on ig on twitter on linkedin wherever the case is all linked in the description look at my linkedin learning course if you want to check out the cyber security resume cyber security learning framework as well those two things can help you get started for very cheap uh check out all my affiliate links and stuff like that all those links just yeah but thank you for watching this video and uh, i'll see you in the next video Bye bye